Hey everyone, this is Zero Prime, and welcome back to another episode of Zero Review, a series in which I look back on the games I played on my channel, and I give you my honest thoughts and opinions on said gameplay. And today I'll be talking about a kind of an interesting spin-off to a game that was released by the, the very same creator of the Castlevania series, which is Bloodstained Because of the Moon. Now, this game is basically a kind of a retelling from the Bloodstain game. And the obvious difference is that this one is, play is designed to be like in the classic Nintendo Castlevania style gameplay. In which, you know, the characters move like this. And then you have the enemies that come after you. And generally it makes it feel like this is a um, Castlevania game, basically from the Nintendo era. And it's actually a little nice little homage that the original creator did for this. And... I believe this was like one of the Kickstarter goals that was reached, and I do have to say this though, and I did say this in the um, the in the Bloodstain review that basically this is one of the few Kickstarter games that actually succeeded in what it said it was set out to do. There were so many other games that yeah, they didn't quite hit the expectation or the hype they were, you know, selling, you know, and everything. But for this one, I can definitely say that you know it definitely kept this promise when, you know, it was announced what the, the, the creator wanted to do and everything, so. But yeah, of course, in this game, there is uh, multiple endings, but um, I never quite got the other ending as I didn't know what to do exactly, and eh, I'm not too, you know, not too, too concerned about that, but like I said, if you guys want me to try to get the true ending of this game, just let me know, and, you know, I'll see what I can do, so. But yeah, not much else I can really say about this, but it's definitely a good game, and if you're a fan of the old retro-style gameplay and everything, then this game is definitely, you know, for you and everything, so... I would say give it a try. If you like it, that's good. If you don't like it, that's fine as well, so... In any case, guys, that's all the time I have for this episode, so as usual, thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a comment below, subscribe for more video updates, share this on your Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and all other social medias, and don't forget to hit the like button to help out the channel and to turn on the notification bell to stay up to date on my channel. And if you guys want to help me out in some shape or form, I do have a Patreon account down below. And as usual, guys, thank you for watching, and have a pleasant day. Bye-bye.